What is up, fam? Welcome back to Ladies and Gentlemen's Tarot. This reading here is for my beautiful Scorpio Zodiac signs. I'm going to do a check-in reading for you guys because it has been a while. It's been a couple of days. So what messages need to come out for Scorpio, please? What are the messages for Scorpio? What messages do you have for Scorpio? We have animals. Okay, so your ancestors are near in animal form. We have financial health. And let's do one more. What messages do you have for Scorpio? And manifestation. Beautiful. All right, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is passion. Okay. So let's clarify this energy for you and see what comes out. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable. So they can cross if you need to. Please flip them. All right. What's the animals about for Scorpio, please? Animal energy. Four of wands. Okay. You're in alignment, Scorpio. Clarify the animal's energy. We have the strength card and the eight of swords. You're in alignment, Scorpio. Don't second question yourself. Don't don't go into overthinking here. OK, please don't go into overthinking. Four of wands, the strength and the eight of swords. I feel like that's what you're doing, though. You're <laughs> you're overanalyzing situations like, is this is this what's supposed to be happening? Is this, you know, I got the strength. I got the courage. I got the confidence here. We have the lovers and the uh, six of wands energy. So making a choice about something that's going to be very victorious, very successful. A lot of recognition here. I feel like, um, Scorpio, you're in alignment, okay? Just continue to trust it and have faith and stop overthinking, all right? Just know your ancestors are near. They're with you. They're walking the path with you here. Uh, if you ever second question yourself, just look around, and I'm pretty sure you'll see an animal, a bird, a, a butterfly, a, a dog, a cat, something, all right? And that's that's your um, acknowledgement that your ancestors are with you. They're walking with you, and you're walking the right path, okay? And it could be even like on the back of a car, you might see a picture of a bird or something like that. That's just the acknowledgement that you're walking in your alignment okay in your proper alignment and you're walking your purpose so clarify the financial health card for Scorpio please clarify the financial health card we have the six of swords in reverse okay clarify the financial health card for Scorpio and we have the full okay Scorpio you're not making any movement here three of swords bottom of the deck there's um a sense of hurt or sense of pain of something but you're not making any uh any move and you're if you've been broken hearted, it, the reason why it's happening, because I feel like you may be trying to go through some type of healing with the Six of Swords being in reverse. But uh, Scorpio, you need to take the leap here. OK, there's an opportunity that's going to bring a lot of financial success, a lot of financial health. Look, there's bird up at the top, a lot of financial success and abundance in your life. But you got to get out of this energy of hurt. Look at you, solitude and the Three of Swords energy. OK, let's pull one more. Clarify the Six of Swords and the Four. You need to take that leap, Scorpio. Yeah. The lovers that I feel like um, right now your love life may be affecting your financial health. OK, and the reason I say that, because if you're going through some type of heartbreak or something like that, you don't really have the energy to put in towards uh, your your financial financial health or something that you want to do. Right. But you need to um, quit, quit going you need to turn the six of swords into upright okay instead of looking back and wanting to go back and wanting to redo you need to turn it into the upright and move forward into calmer waters because i feel like you're kind of it's like self-destruction is what they're giving me okay ace of swords ace of pentacles this is where you need to be putting your thoughts your energy your uh action into okay is this new beginning because there's a lot of financial health that can happen within these next couple of months for you scorpio clarify the manifestation card for scorpio the five of swords Clarify the manifestation card for Scorpio, please. And the Seven of Cups. Okay. So there's something, and the Ace of Cups is bottom of the deck, with the uh, World card. There's something that, there's some either resentment back from, or there's uh, like any means necessary type of energy going on here. Why the Seven of Cups, though? I feel like you're Nine of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're going after new opportunities. Yeah, the chariot. You're going after new opportunities that you might not have seen before here with this five of swords. It's kind of like with this manifestation mode, you're kind of like, I will take out anything that's in my way right now because of the past. You know, there's resentment here, but it's like the resentment is because maybe you were focused on somebody else or some other, like a love situation that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to but i see you now saying any means necessary i'm going to get what i want at the end of the day seven of cups i'm going to go after what it is that i deserve all of the dreams all of the opportunities that i've been wanting nine of sources in reverse and you're not stressing about it so that's good 
not stressing about it. I see you moving forward here. The hangman, you were in stagnation for a little while, which was self-sabotaging this energy. Let's get one more for the manifestation. What is it? There. Yeah, Eight of Cups. So you're, yeah, you're disconnecting here. Eight of Cups. You're finally disconnecting. That's good, Scorpio. You're walking away from some type of emotional connection here, and you're disconnecting, and you're walking towards the energy of, I'm gonna go after whatever it is that I need and I deserve. Okay, no matter what, nobody's gonna get in my way. And I see that's what you're doing. And I like that attitude for you, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. You're standing in your your power here. Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. You're standing in your power of passion and desire and, and um, things that you want, right? Let's see. Let's do... Let's do your fortune reading card. See what comes out. So, Scorpio, I see you moving in the right direction, okay? You just have to get out of your head and stop overthinking. Yeah, look at there. You just have to get out of your head and stop overthinking and stop... Um, the Six of Swords energy, get this in the upright, all right? Get it in the upright because your ancestors are trying to push you forward towards something. Look, Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. I feel like you have been through something very painful, very hurtful, and that's why it's been so hard. But I feel like the moment that you shift your energy into your financial health, um, things are going to change drastically, all right? Because you're going to change from giving something that didn't work, your energy, to giving this Seven of Cups Okay, giving the seven of cups more of your energy, like different options, different opportunities instead of um, this eight of cups. Which I also feel like for a lot of you, there was a connection that you tried multiple times to make happen and it didn't. And you're finally walking away from it, like you're finally getting past it and you're finally saying, OK, this isn't good for me anymore. This isn't good for me anymore. I can't keep trying to manifest this and it's not going to work. You know, it takes two people to make something work. So I feel like Scorpio, you are finally saying, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try anything else here. I'm just going to let it go. And you're finally walking away. And because of that, that's going to allow these other things to come into play here. All right. For example, birth, universal energy brings you opportunity and possibilities. Now that you're seeing things from a different angle and you're moving into a different direction, you're now giving birth to a new beginning. To new opportunities here angel your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey so again i just told you that with your animals your angels and ancestors are near they're here to support you at any time just look around you'll notice them i promise ow there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition don't look at this transition as oh i'll never get past it look at it as okay what was the lesson that i needed to learn in this or what is the lesson that i need to take from this to apply to my future so that i don't have to repeat this right that's the way that you'll have to look at it scorpio so for some of you yeah there was a third party three of pentacles queen of wands somebody chose somebody over you and you you decided to stop trying to manifest the connection all right for others of you you're deciding to stop trying at something that just wouldn't work, even after you gave it everything you had. You're deciding to finally walk away. And because of that, you're going to be opening doors to new beginnings here. So let's see what's coming in towards Scorpio. What's coming? What's the good stuff coming towards Scorpio? What's the good stuff coming towards Scorpio? Whoa. Three of Pentacles popped out. Okay. What is the good stuff coming towards Scorpio? Oh, King of Pentacles. Oh, told you. What is the good stuff coming towards Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Knight of Swords. Take action towards this. Whatever this is, again, remember I just said, focus on your money. Focus on your stability because that's what's going to bring you the abundance that you're wanting. All right. Yeah, I know you want love. Love will come. But right now, this is what you need to focus on because your money is going to be amazing. You're going to be in the most stable position that you've ever been in. And you're creating this by yourself. With no, nobody else. You're putting in the work and the energy by yourself. Okay? And you know, what, what do they say? When you level up financially, you become in a different, you're in a different tax bracket. So by the time you get to this energy, when you look back, that person that you tried everything for to make it work, won't even look the same to you. They won't look the same to you because you're going to be leveled up so much further that you're going to be opening doors to new possibilities, like being able to attract the type of people that you never thought you would be able to attract. All right? So... This is your reading, Scorpio. <laughs> I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.